One of them's a tea, and we got chocolate and coffee as well. Do you want to go check out our coconut trees? I grew up with the world's best surfers, Andy and Bruce Irons, Kayla Kennelly, Rochelle Ballard, and then I'm a part of Seabass's generation, and they're just endless amounts of incredible surfers from here. I surf pipe. Um, I surf pipe probably like at most 15 times a year. I did win an event at pipe. Um, one year, I can't remember if it was a QS, I think it was a one star, not like proper pipe. So it felt really good to win, but it didn't feel like I won an event at pipe, you know? I first surfed pipeline when I was about 12 years old. I mean, last winter was the most heavy conditions I surfed pipe. Just incredibly intimidated, scared, like not sure I want to do it, but then wanting it and getting completely obliterated out there. Pipeline is humbling and just inspiring. My biggest fear about surfing pipe is my fear is more like not succeeding. Like of course I'm scared of the wave and like scared of hitting the bottom, but I never want my fears or my doubts to hold me back from doing something that I think I can do. I tend to be harder on myself, so I just don't like think of this. I'm more like, okay, what, what do I wanna do and how am I gonna get there? Commentators are like the most annoying people in the world and they just, say the same old thing over and over again. Like if they could just acknowledge my surfing even like 25% of the time. I'm okay if you wanna mention Soul Surfer, but I don't think they should be talking about the shark attack in the middle of my heat. And I've had like numerous like loudspeaker people doing that over and over again. And I'm not one to be like hating on people. I just like, if they're doing such a bad job, like they shouldn't be there. You got my buttons pushed. On the perfect peak, I'm definitely going left. We got the baby gear so I can like get a workout on while the baby's doing his thing. Yeah, I push hard, but also having three children has taught me a lot too. And so I've had to like slow down in a sense that my body needed less at times. No priority will mean I will have to get nuts. I actually like hate that there's no priority. It makes me so mad. And um, so I think mentally I'm gonna be like trying to flip that mindset. You can have such a bad heat out there and not even really get a score in 30 minutes. Whereas if you have three heats, hopefully you're getting a score in at least a couple of those heats. I think it allows for the best surfers to really shine. Hitting the end section at pipe makes me feel, if it gives you the opportunity, go for it. <laughs> like Mason Ho landing an error on like a seven foot board at the end section of like, after getting super barreled is just so exciting. Oh dang. My goal for this event is to win. There's so many people going through such hard, gnarly things in their life, and like I'm like that ray of sunshine or hope that they can overcome it. I also really cherish being like an encouragement for teenage girls in particular, and so that's like a really beautiful gift at the same time. My name is Bethany Hamilton, and this is the breakfast I'm going to eat on the morning of the Vans Pipe Masters.